guys welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to review another best gcam for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and you guys can see here i'm using a MIUI rom that means a port rom for redmi 7 actually and you guys can see this is android 10 and i'm using on android 10 version so this gcam is really cool for MIUI and AOSP based ROM so you guys can easily use in Android 10 MIUI ROM and other AOSP ROM like Android 10, Android 11 and Android 12 of course yeah, this will be best so this is the Gcam user interface you guys can see and I didn't use any config file yet uh, and I captured some photos to show you guys and I didn't capture with config files but I will provide you guys some great configs and really thanks to the builder and this is Shamim Gcam so let's get it started and here you guys can see the user interface this is really cool and without any problem you guys can use this Gcam and user friendly and no crash not a single crash I didn't get any crash uh, still I'm using on Android 10 so this is it and now this is portrait and this Gcam is known as portrait king so you guys will get great portrait shots with great edge detection so i blindly recommend you guys to use that gcam just give it a try and just let me know how is the performance in your device and this is not only for redmi 7 and redmi y3 you guys can easily use it to any other xiaomi devices no problem without any problem you guys can use that gcam and the config files as well so let me show you the config files so here we, I have three config files here one will be saturated if you want saturated color boosted photos then use that G, uh, that config file and if you want pure natural color as we see in the real eyes so if then use that config which is natural one and if you want a brighter then use the bright XML so I will provide all of those and here is the saturated one and let me show you by importing just click on import and user interface will be changed and here you guys can see you guys can balance exposure and white balance you guys will be able to change so here you guys can see in the background you guys can change that so this is it and we have the SDR plus enhance mode you guys can use SDR plus or SDR plus off whatever you need you guys can do if you want uh, the processing in the background if you want uh, to reduce the time of processing then you guys can select SDR plus and SDR plus off whatever you need you guys can do no problem just give it a time in the background it will process uh, the SDR plus and in the meantime you guys will be able to take another shot like uh, in the night side you guys will be able to take uh, astrophotography because this Gcam support Kepler mode that means you guys can forcefully enable the as to photography mode so no issues with that and of course you guys can record videos in 4k let me show you and some extra features will be there an external mic system you guys can see enable external mic system you guys can enable no problem and we have the 24 fps uh, so uh, this is a cool feature for, uh, we normally have uh, 30 fps and 60 fps but in this gcam we have 24 as well and you guys can select 4k as well no problem you guys can use and now let's talk about how can you guys set uh, the config file so go to more settings so after opening the setting just scroll down and you guys will get an option like configuration setting just click on that and here you guys will get config save so just uh, type anything and click yes and your config file will be saved and then just get back and here you guys can see and uh, by default you guys will get a gcam folder and copy the config files and then just paste it to config 8.4 folder that means this gcam is based on 8.4 so in future we'll get more uh, stable updates so no problem with that just stay connected and uh, here is the gcam files I guess where is that uh, here is the file just copy that three files and then paste it to that gcam configs 8.4 folder and you are done then just open the gcam 
and then just double click on the near the shutter button in the black space just double tap and you will be able to import all the uh, xml files like this and if you want saturated then import the saturated one and if you want brighter then import the brighter one and you guys will get an option here awb that means auto white balance if you want uh, white balance then enable this one if you don't want then just disable and you guys will get a button of astrophotography by default so this is it this is the user interface and which is friendly and really faster if you guys want to switch to night side to camera and video whatever you guys can do easily without any problem now let's get uh, into the some photos i have captured and this is the one i captured you guys can see the huge kind of details and all those photos i taken uh, without any config file so this is a gcam you guys can easily use without any config file without config file it's perfect and if you want to use config file then it will be more perfect so it's up to you you guys can use without and with no problem so this is it and after that another one and this is pure natural color actually i have uh, seen in my real eyes so this is the cool thing and heavy kind of real and a huge kind of details you guys can see so you guys can see here huge kind of details and the size of the images are really great and after that another one no that one and you guys can see the real color not a boosted color this is the real color as i saw in my real life so that's it and remember that thing i captured all the photos without any config file so you guys can see the heavy then huge details around the flower so in the middle and the side edges it actually captured a great kind of photos so another one and this is gonna be the portrait shot and how is the edge detection is perfect really great another one and you guys can see the details just really cool and his detection is super and perfect and after that another photos so really cool i guess and these are the photos i actually captured so hope you guys understand the video and if you guys really like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and share the videos so thank you for watching